I'm going to talk now about how to care for a bull mastiff. We're going to talk about obedience. Obedience is real important for dogs, any dogs, but especially a bull mastiff because of his size. Obedience keeps the connection between the dog and the pack and the pack leaders through constant repetition of asking the dog to do simple tasks, which the dog can do comfortably. And he, when he does, he's rewarded with usually praise, good boy. This builds your dog's confidence, which is real important because we're controlling a dog that's going to be over 100 pounds. Socialization is real important because your dog is going to be accompanying with you to the park, to the baseball game, on a hiking trail or jogging trail or what have you, and he's going to run across people and homeless people and other animals. It's important that your dog has a positive association of all these things, and that's done by socializing him early to things that he's going to run across all through his life. Exercising your bull mastiff is extremely important. These are large dogs and if they do not get consistent exercise on a regular basis, we have several things that could arise. We don't want to see our dogs overweight. We don't want to see our dogs that um, don't have cardio benefits from uh, continuous walking and consistent walking. Feeding your bull mastiff, again, is real important that you do it correctly. This is extremely important because these are large dogs. So combining exercise and feeding at the proper times at the right intervals will keep your dog at the weight you want and not a dog that spends most of his time looking for food. You can bathe your bull mastiff only when necessary. They're short-haired dogs. Occasionally they might run into a smell or a scent that you need to get off, but they're regularly in pretty most clean animals. When brushing a bull mastiff, we want to use a short bristle brush and an occasional brushing will suffice. We want to trim our bull mastiff's nails regularly. While we're doing that, we want to check the pads for proper care. This is a large dog, so he's carrying a lot of weight on those little paws. Always make sure to have your vet check, starting at three years old regularly, for hip dysplasia, bloat, eyelid problems, or possible thyroid problems. 